Yeah, and we uh, we wanted to do these bandit camps. So we had planned on doing that anyway. So mm -hmm. this was this was the plan. Uh, okay. All right. All righty. Welcome to the Josh and Adam show. This time we're playing Horizon Zero Dawn. And let's do it. Welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. Welcome back. Thanks for watching. Now, if you've been following along, you might be like, where are these guys? They're in a new spot. Well, we finished the, the last cauldron, cauldron 11, I believe it's called, or X1, whichever you want to go for. Uh -huh. um, and uh, what else? We did something else, too, didn't we? No, no, that, that was it. That yeah, was yeah, it, yeah. 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 We did yeah, we the whole did the cauldron. cauldron. It was a long one. It was we a did. Really long one. Uh, and we were using a new recording process. We were so excited because normally we're sitting here... Uh, essentially in silence kind of like you, we can kind of hear the tv but not really because you know you don't want the volume coming into the microphones and because then you guys hear the sound twice and that would just be awful yeah. um but you know we finally thought we had figured out the process and we're like oh cool we can both listen in on headphones we can both you know uh listen to ourselves speaking you know uh, through the microphones everything's gonna be sounding great uh, and then i went to edit the episode last night and Guess what had no sound? The game. Yeah. Had no sound. Yeah, because unfortunately when we plugged our headphones into the, con the PlayStation controllers, it then took the sound signal away from the TV. We so. didn't realize it would happen that way. Yeah. We didn't think that we didn't even think that we needed to test it. We just thought it would work. You know, yeah. it just seemed like it, it should work that way. But... No, sadly did not. It doesn't. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so it Oh, I didn't. Ne I never saw that guy. <laughs> I'm like, I can strike something from here. <laughs> but yeah, so we, uh, yeah, it was it wasn't really a, a problem that we could fix or anything. I mean, the the entire episode had no sound, like no game yeah. sound coming at all. So just had to scrap it, and mm -hmm. we decided to get back into it today. So here yeah. we are, back in, back in. Yeah, and we we wanted to do these bandit camps. So we had planned on doing that anyway. So. Mm -hmm. This was this was the plan all. Oh. Okay. All right. All righty. Um, this is the plan all all along, but because um, we wanted we wanted to get back with Nil. Yeah, we yeah. hadn't seen Nil in a while. He's one of the most interesting characters in the game, and I guess you don't really get to interact with him much outside of these missions. So mm -hmm. we wanted to to come do these missions so we could get some more of him. So, which is a shame because. Um, combat's not great. Yeah, <laughs> it's not. It's, it's this is like probably the least fun aspect of the game. Um. Oh well, uh, let, let me get your take on this. Okay. Okay. What? What for you personally? Uh -huh. What is worse, human combat or glint talk combat? <laughs> Glint Hawks are by far the worst machine in the game, <laughs> um, so that's a tricky one. They're not, they're just they're so weird and awkward to fight against. Mm -hmm. The human combat is just very it's just very boring. There's just nothing yeah. to it. Um, you know, I guess these sections are intended to be more like stealth sections, but the stealth isn't that fun in this game either. So. <laughs> Just everything about it is just not that interesting. Well, obviously, as you tried to strike someone earlier and it just shoved way off to the side yeah, to get the other dude. It's already been just janky as hell <laughs> from the from the get go. Um, that's kind of why, and and all of the the little complexities and and intricacies of the combat in this game, it's all you know. You only ever come across it when you're fighting machines. There's no like destructible parts or or uh, elemental weaknesses or any of that kind of stuff when you're fighting these bandits. Mm -hmm. so they're, just, they're just like little pin cushions with tiny hitboxes and there's just, yeah, there's just nothing interesting about it at all. <laughs> like you can't even really like me melee them. I've noticed several times where like, if, if you hit them more than once, then it just, your spear just clangs right off of them. Yeah, it makes that weird metal clang. Yeah. You know, it doesn't even seem, or at least visually, it doesn't seem like they're yeah. actually blocking your hit. It just did it then. So, like, it's just, it's all arbitrary. Hmm. Like, or you hit them too many times and then they, they like, start to resist it or something. It is know. odd. And it doesn't really make any sense why it would do that. So, this, this isn't really a game, like, it's not a stealth game. I, I just don't know why they put these sections in here. Hmm. Um,. I liked the idea of having stealth be something that you can do 
you know, in certain situations, it's like a tool, you know, mm -hmm. in your arsenal. But but having it the focus of a of a particular type of mission, which is not a good idea. Um, and these are these are all issues that we've brought up before when playing the game. Mm -hmm. I know we sound kind of like a broken record, but <laughs> we recently saw the uh, the preview of the next uh, Horizon Zero Dawn game. Yeah. And it sounds or looks like from the preview that we saw, a lot of the the issues, a lot of the criticisms that we've that we've made have been addressed and are going to be different in the sequel. So I hope so. That that I thought that was really interesting mm -hmm. when I saw that. Uh, I'm going to sell some stuff. Um, it seemed like maybe that was some of the feedback that they've gotten before from from other ga uh, players. Mm -hmm. Maybe they themselves that's stuff that they weren't happy with the the game developers themselves. Yeah. So it seems like they're addressing some of those those aspects and i'm really looking forward to the game now for sure yeah because aloy's fighting that guy on the beach and like you can see all the components of his armor and uh obviously she had different types of moves that she could do which look at least uh from that preview it looked like that was specific to human combat too so yeah it looks like she had different spear combos and there were different weak points and stuff that the the human the humans had and that's like that's all the interesting parts of the the game. I wish it I wish it were, were like that in this game. So, mm -hmm. um, some of the other issues that we've talked about all, that were also addressed in that gameplay footage uh, were like being able to just maneuver around your environment. You know, especially like the close environment that you have. Mm -hmm. Being able to like jump over rocks or you know uh, you know mantle over ledges and. Uh, you know, over like short ledges and stuff like that. That looks like stuff that you'll be able to do in the game. Mm -hmm. um, and oh, there's a grappling hook. Yeah, grappling hook. Uh, there was that a little nice. gliding ability that she mm -hmm. had. She can kind of glide off of, of tall, um, uh, you know, like tall sections, so tall ledges and stuff. So it looked like a lot of the the different things that we had been complaining about. Those are things that are going to be addressed. So really excited about that. The Hollow Fort. Okay, let's do this one. I like, oh, to, I like to mark these when we, when we get started so that way they don't sneak up on me. Of course, it didn't help on that last <laughs> one, but that's the general strategy at least. I wouldn't call this much of a hollow camp. It's just like everything exploded. <laughs> well, you know, you, so it's something explodes, like it's hollow afterwards. The, the hollowed out camp. Damn, we got a lot of dudes with, I guess, the big guns. Yeah, there's a, there's a few of them. Does a skull always mean that they have a big gun, or is that just representative of their health? Um, that's a good question. It looks like... I mean, those are definitely the leaders, uh, hmm. the bandit leaders. But... Yeah, do not look like either of them are holding big guns, at least. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> the leader went down like a punk. I was trying to get one of those like little ledge kills with this guy. Oh, maybe I don't have it unlocked. This one should, should, hmm. it should give me a prompt to execute him. I didn't even know that was a thing in this game. Yeah, there's a couple little half-hearted uh, stealth abilities that you can get. I mm. thought I had unlocked it, but maybe I haven't. Ooh. He's got, like, explosive arrows or something. Ooh. Yeah, it did have a red trail to it. Yeah. Everybody cool with what just happened? <laughs> Be cool. Be cool, guys. Oh, here comes this person. Over here. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guy. You can put more effort into your death. Yeah, that wasn't much of a death death knell. <laughs> 
I just like the characters that do like the link sounds. Like, get! <laughs> get! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All I can say is, if they have those same kind of NPC death sounds in the next one, I'm all in. All, all about all that. In. All about it. I bet they'll make them even better. I was trying to loot this guy, but... Let's empty this too. gross sack. Yeah, I think those... Okay, so that, he was like an elite bandit archer. I, I'm pretty sure the skulls just mean that they're like elite enemies. Hmm. Nice. Oop. Okay, nah, he, he's got a gun. gun. Yeah. He did have a gun. Oh, that dude's got a cool helmet. Yeah. That was pretty neat. Still didn't protect from arrows, but, you know, it looks good. Some ancient debris. Oh. Well, Assassin's Creed tried to sneak up on you. <laughs> what was the name of the first one? Ezio, I think. He wasn't the first one. Oh, was it not? No. He, he was the second one, I think. Ah. Yeah. Altair was the first one. It's amazing I can remember that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, did they hit each other? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that was weird. Damn, he's got a Kratos axe. I bet his doesn't return to him, though. Yeah. You'd be cooler if you did. Mm hmm. What kind of weapon did he have? Yeah, that was weird. A long pole, but he like sat it on the ground. It looked like. What were you intending to do with that? I don't know. He's about to play some just real nice upright bass. <laughs> <laughs> this is all really all just a misunderstanding. This is just a jazz group, <laughs> you know. This is just a a, a a professional jazz group. They're just here to play some music, you know. It's the Hollow Fort Band. They uh, they took these hostages so they would have an audience. Yeah. This is you know it's the apocalypse. It's not like anybody wants to hear jazz. No. You got to kidnap people yeah. to listen to it. You got to do what you can to get by. They were going to let them go after. <laughs> but they'd never be the same. <laughs> so. Already. Oh, that's a booster. No, I want. No, not that one. <laughs> okay. All the people in there are like, I mean. It's great she rescued us, but she, like, just went through and stole all our shit that we had. Like, <laughs> yeah. there's barely anything left. Where is the next one? There's one down here. There's one right there. It looks like just two left. Let's just keep knocking them out. Get yeah. them. Mark all the marks. <laughs> this one's having trouble. There we yeah. go. <laughs> oh, we got some purple people. Oh, those are hostages. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I think you can, like, free them, but they also get freed when you just kill all the bandits. So oh. not 100% sure what the purpose is of freeing them. But... Hmm. Gorim. Well, they definitely do blend in. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There's two skull guys. Mm. 
I barely saw it coming. Yeah, I really do hope the bits we saw in the preview of her moving around and yeah. you know having that more parkour nature, I really hope that wasn't just you know for that scene, right? Know, or, or just happened to be where she was. You know, you, you could do it. It seemed like a like a pretty typical thing that you could do. Um, one of the interesting things I saw, and this was again something that we pointed out, it'd be really nice if like your scan would show you like handholds and footholds, and yeah. there was a section where it explicitly. Where her, she scanned, and all of the handholds and footholds that were like invisible before, they all kind of glowed with mm. like a little light. Oh, I, I hit strike from above. I 100% hit it. <laughs> I want to do it to this guy. Yeah, come over here. Yeah, well. Come on, guys. Well, now that dude's coming. Well, maybe. Yeah, okay. Hey. What do you mean? I liked his little, whatever, back accessory he had on. <laughs> yeah. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Oh, no, not that. I want the, the gun. I want the gun. Can I pick the, the gun up? There we go. That just looked weird. Whoa! I'm not so sure how this gun works. You have to, like, it has to, like, kind of spin up a little bit, and then it just kind of fires. Hmm. Hmm. It's in here. I have no idea how much room I have in my inventory. <laughs> we may get blocked here in a second. Oh, someone's coming in. <laughs> like, see, the AI is not great. She just kind of ran in here, missed me once, and then just didn't mm. do anything else. You know, like that's another thing. Oh, ducked at the last Ooh, second. There's the prisoners. Where? Oh, there's a dude to your right. Make the prisoners. Okay. He just hiding in his head. Yeah. This is very annoying. Speaking of smart AI. <laughs> yeah, we've, we've run into some pretty pretty terrible AI a few times already. With these human opponents. Mm -hmm. uh oh. He's trying to be stealthy. Nope. Couldn't do it. The Shattered Kiln. You never know. Who do we get? Who do we get? Blackwing Snag. <laughs> I like that name. These two guys. Okay. <laughs> that was going to be difficult. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there we go. That's all I can see for now. Mm, I can kind of climb up through this back entrance here. Coming in for the sneak attack. Well, that 
person shut up real quick. Yeah. yeah, so these are the hostages. Can you just let them go? Yeah, you can. I don't think this does anything. Like, what, huh. is, the, what is the point of this? Yeah. I'm not leaving you in here. Do they fight with you? Maybe. Oh, maybe. Okay. Maybe you're right. That would certainly be incentive. Maybe so. You're like, all right, I think I'm going to sneak in the bush and go towards the bed. And they're like, fucking go! <laughs> yeah. They just re unleash a war cry. <laughs> Clanking. Yeah. I don't know why she did a, a spear attack instead of a, a, a stealth attack. Doesn't make any sense. You know, because this is a stealth game. Is it though? They just like popped in over here. Whoa, that's cool. What is up here? Anything? No, it's a neat little rock, I guess. That's why they captured them. They're teleporters. What is that symbol? I don't know what that symbol means. It's the uh, village Wi-Fi. <laughs> yeah, that's not <laughs> what it looks like. These are just a mobile hotspot. <laughs> it's like a backpack with a little antenna. Yeah, in the oh, last okay. episode we did, which again won't be aired because no game sound, we were just sitting there touting the whole time. We we're like, oh, we can actually hear when enemies are sneaking up on us and coming from the sides. Oh, and we were so excited. We, we can hear their voices. And yeah. <laughs> we, were, we were reacting to things that happened in the game that we could hear. And, you know, that was, it was so exciting. I heard like a machine come up behind me and I was, and I thought, oh, you know, I can. I can turn around and kill this machine because I heard good. it. That was good. That was good. That was actually fun. Mm -hmm. oh. Got him. <laughs> this is so bad. Right, he's got some cool sleeves. the rest of the baddies. Wait it. Is that really it right there? Yeah, he's way out there. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Come on. Uh. What scares me? This is like really hard to navigate. Okay, I'm just gonna come across here. Yeah, take them out. Where even? Oh, there there. Is. oh, and there's another. That's it? Hey, hey that's hey. it. Cleared all the bandit camps. Okay, we should be able to find Nil now. Or will Nil find us? No, no, we'll find it. Okay, I don't know. Um, Cause for concern. Is that what it 
Is that what it brought up? Here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, all these are done. There it is. Is it cause for concern? Oh, okay, yeah, talk to Nell. Where is he? Oh, he's right out, right out here. I kind of thought he would be, like, helping out with the bandit camps. Yeah. He just kind of wanted you to do it, I guess. Oh. All right. It's so bittersweet. It's like a smile with bloody teeth. What's the matter? You look disappointed. <sighs> oh, the bandit plans are gone. I hear another turned back at the Southern Plains. Just at a sniff of the legend we carved. That's what all this bloodshed well, was. I for. carved. Yeah. And the bandit met. But now there's nothing left to kill. Unless. No, no. I guess this is our last farewell. <laughs> He's like, unless After I can kill you, through, perhaps? This isn't the place for that. There's a mesa south of Meridian with a view of the spear shaft. Meet me there. Well, that was ominous. Mm -hmm. Look, Ellie, we can just fast travel. Yeah. I see you can fast travel as well. <laughs> no, I did wonder on my way here. Well, if you were luring me into an ambush. Where's the fun in that? Some bandit sprawl would never have done for our arena. But this, much better. There's a sense of drama. So, what do you say? How about we try to kill each other? Oh my god, I wouldn't. Okay, <laughs> I was just kidding. Shall we, what? <laughs> you brought me out here to ask if I want to fight you? To the death. We'll uh, save it. Because we only get this one time. Actually, what? I don't know what else I expected. I'm uh, flattered that you think of me this way. <laughs> I don't want to kill you. Don't be hasty. When it's life against death, hunter against hunter, I know it'll come to you. Is that really what you want, Nil? You know, I don't think you have a death wish. But you have might be worse but i see there might be a need for you in this world i don't understand i won't fight you that's my decision you can respect it or try to shoot me in the back as i go then it's over your last arrow was the cruelest <laughs> <laughs> ah. it's true i offered you the choice but my heart is broken oh poor guy well, that was just weird. <laughs> yeah. That was weird. Yeah. Nil's still a weird guy. Yeah, uh, he is. He's just a psycho. He just likes killing people. Yeah. He just likes, he loves killing, you know. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for watching, guys. And uh, I think we'll call it here. But um, yeah. uh, continue watching Horizon Zero Dawn. Look out for the next episode. Mm -hmm. If you like the episode, give us a like. If you want to see some more videos, hit the subscribe button. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Got a very big fucking sound on there. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no sound on this episode. I swear to God, I'm just going in there. I'm gonna be making animal noises, making the the clang sound. I'm gonna go out and hit a metal pole. Clang, clang. Yeah. We're gonna follow this whole fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs>